Hey guys, it's Carter. Now in today's video, we are looking at the top three stocks I am buying this December. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe. You guys know what to do because we are nearing 22,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. So thank you guys to each and every single one of you. And if you guys are new to the team, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. So let's jump into it. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because I always think it's smart to go into the month with some sort of game plan or strategy so you're not going in blind. So let's jump into my first investment. Now stock number one is actually not a stock. This is an ETF. Now what an ETF is, is it's pretty much a pool of different either indexes or stocks or commodities. So my first investment is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, ticker symbol VOO. Now the reason why I love this one so much is because this represents the top 500 companies in the United States. Now through all the ups and all the downs of this ETF or index, what we've seen is an average annual, annual return rate of about 9.8%, which is awesome. So through all the bear markets, through all the bull markets, you have an annual rate of return on average of about 9.8%. Plus, you also get some dividends so you can start building up this passive income stream and you know start compounding your account. And the reason I love it also is because this has such a small expense ratio of 0.8%. 04 so meaning it's four dollars for every ten thousand dollars you have invested comparing that to like 401ks or mutual funds which on average have a fee of about one percent a year you guys are going to save yourself thousands of dollars just by investing into this etf plus you also have great growth now some of the holdings that we see in this of those top 500 companies is Apple, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Tesla, all these fantastic companies that you and I know of and most of them you and I use every single day. Now the reason I'm buying this thing right now is because it's extremely undervalued. We've seen this thing sell off about 20%. Now on average, every time you guys buy in during a recession, you'll have a return rate of about 25%. Now right now we've seen some sell off from the highs and I just think it's always a good opportunity to buy in at these more affordable prices. <laughs> so moving on to stock Stock number two, stock number two, before we jump into it, hit the like button, subscribe so you guys can stay updated for all of our stock picks. Stock number two is Costco, ticker symbol C O S T. Now, the reason I'm buying this one is because we've seen some sell off from the highs. Now, right now, Costco came out and they actually have an earnings report today. Now, Costco came out and said to expect a bad earnings for this upcoming quarter. Now, what happened is a whole bunch of people got scared and sold Costco stock because of this statement. Now, right now, we're seeing such an undervalued point for the stock that I'm buying in on these dips. I understand we're going to see a little more volatility with Costco, but you can't go wrong with a great growth. You get a 90 cent dividend every single quarter and historically over the past five years Costco has outperformed the index. Now the year over year revenue growth is up about 15% so it's still really really solid but they're just expecting a worse quarter. And one of the most important things when evaluating a company is cash on hand and let me tell you Costco has about 11 billion dollars in cash so if they ever go through a hard time or recession, they have enough cash to continue to grow and invest into the business. So right now, buying it undervalued is just a solid opportunity to buy in on one of the strongest stocks in the United States at a more affordable price. And not to mention, they only have $6 billion in debt, so they have way more cash on hand than long-term debt. Alrighty, so the last and final stock is Google, ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L. Google does have three different classes of stocks. They have a Google Class A, B and C. Personally, I just buy the class A because this gives you voting rights in board meetings and stuff like that. But what we've seen this year is Google stock literally get absolutely obliterated because of some bad earnings. And I definitely think right now this is just going to be a short term situation that we're seeing with Google. I think looking back two to five years, we're going to be wishing we would have bought Google underneath $100 because of how undervalued it is. And the company has over $100 billion in cash. So if they ever go through a hard time or recession, they have a hundred billion to continue to invest and grow the business. And we've seen about a 6% growth on their revenue, which is always really good to see some sort of revenue growth. And like I mentioned, they have over a hundred billion dollars in cash, but only $14 billion in debt, which is 
<laughs> not much debt at all. So if they ever go through a hard time, they can easily pay off that debt and grow the business, you know, with the other cash they have. And not to mention Google owns YouTube, which is an absolute media powerhouse. So I think this is such an undervalued point for the stock and buying it. You can definitely expect a growth rate of about 10 to 15% in the next two years. And I mean per year, 10 to 15% per year over the next two years. So guys, these were the top three stocks I am buying this December. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit the like button, subscribe, and I hope you guys got something of value out of this video. Don't forget to go ahead and check out my podcast. I'll put that down below so you guys can check it out. So remember to stay happy, guys, stay positive, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.